I've got a bunch of leaf footed bugs on my tangerine tree and a way to get them off because I'm about to pick them is by blasting them with water. They'll probably come back but they stay off for a while while I'm picking. So we're gonna do it again. Get all the tangerines off today before they uh, dry up. Here we go. Let me show you them really quick. Have a look. That it's mating season so they're letting they're sucking on the juice of my tangerine. Yeah, right over there. Okay, stand clear. Look at that one on the right. Where? That, that down there. Uh, okay. Those two right there are actually having sex. Oh, okay. So. Look, look at that on the fly. Hopefully we can see, you can see that. Oh my God. Eee! Where did you learn this? I looked it up online. Are you with the fire department? Yeah. <laughs> trying to get every fruit. Ah! Oh, trying to get every fruit. <laughs> Don't want to step on dog doo doo. <laughs> My hose is not long enough, so I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Your hose is too short? Yeah. Uh-oh. We're going to try to get the back. Get the bottom one. Now that we got the leaf-footed bugs off the trees, we blasted them with the hose. I'm going to pick all these fruits. Here we go. Got my basket from Thailand. Yes, I lugged this all the way from Thailand <laughs> in my suitcase. Handmade. It's kind of refreshing because the weather is kind of warm right now. So getting a splash of the water is nice. I'm going to try to get the biggest ones first. This tree has been here since we moved when I was in third grade. So it's at least 20 years old, but it's kind of small. You know why? We didn't really water it, but this is the first year in a long time it produced fruit because of the rain. And now that we have irrigation that we installed two years ago, so it's good. As long as you water stuff and fertilize properly, which we are going to do, I'm gonna have a video on how to fertilize the citrus trees and the other fruit trees we have. But look how much. And I know definitely if I had fertilized it before, it probably would produce more uh, bigger fruit, but it's still so juicy. But you can compare. This is a two-year-old tree, two to three-year-old tree, 20-year-old, <laughs> at least 20 years. Yeah. This basket's gonna get full for sure. All right, that's a big mama right there that I wanna grab. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I might have Cody help me over here. Switch! All right, oh, I didn't even need to cut. Oh yeah, that's oh. when you know they're, they're definitely ready when they just come right off. Not bad for a uh, left hand. <laughs> I see one aphid. There's two aphids. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, I'm gonna pee on you. Oh my god. Cody, I see white eggs on the bottom. Those are the babies. They look like Rice Krispies, yo. Yeah. Should I pour water? We can when we're done. Mmm. Oh my god. So I just opened up one. Mm. Super juicy and sweet. I'll show you. They're a little tough to peel, but once you get in there, I'll show you how, you know how the ones that you get at the market can be a little dry? Every single one of these are juicy and plump. And it's not very sour. They're, they're, 
They're sweet and sour, but not as, more on the sweet side than tangy. And completely different flavor than mandarin and navel. <laughs> Cinnamon's playing with a leaf with a bug. Cinnamon, don't get hurt there. So there you have it. We filled up a whole basket of tangerines. Definitely can't eat all of this myself, so I'm going to be sharing it with friends and family. Hopefully you're able to plant a citrus tree in your backyard or even in a pot. And it'll produce a lot of fruit. <laughs> See you guys later. Watch Cinnamon try it. Oh, Cinnamon likes them too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she didn't want that one. Mocha. Mocha. Let's see. Mocha, come here. Mocha. Let's see if my dog Mocha likes it. Nope. Oh, Cinnamon ate the other one. Here. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I like to do on Sundays. Just share tangerine slices with my dog. <laughs> Somebody just gotta keep feeding them until they eat it. <laughs>